I'm going to show you three different ways to code with the first one being the longest, most cumbersome way so that you understand what's happening behind the scenes in deduce. And then I'll end with the most efficient way with the quick code widget. So let's say I'm going through this document and I'm interested in this passage of text. I'm going to highlight it just like I would if I were working um, on pen and paper. And then in the lower right, you'll see this little quotation mark. It's red and the icon reads create excerpt from selection. I'm going to go ahead and click on that icon. And then you'll see deduce just created an excerpt for us. And our selection info box is red, telling us that you're currently editing this excerpt. So we can attach codes, delete them, attach memos, etc. Since we don't have any codes in our code book yet, we should go ahead and create a code. And you can do that from this little mini code book workspace. So I'm going to select the little addition icon, add root code. And then a little pop-up window will appear and prompt you to include a title. I'm going to go local coffee. And then a description. Be sure to always include the most detailed description you can, even if you're working alone. This is a huge step in your analysis, so be sure to include those descriptions. Then you have your custom color option that I was mentioning if you want to attach a color to the code. And you also have a code weighting feature. I'm not going to go into this feature in depth today, but just know that you can attach a numerical value to a code to indicate valence, sentiment, or if you wanted to quantify something within your qualitative data. I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. Now we'll see we have that code in our code book here, and it is ready to attach to our excerpt. You can click and drag and drop, or you can just double click that code, and it attaches it to the excerpt for us. You also see we have the option to remove it if we made a mistake, and you can also delete the whole excerpt at the top level X if you wanted to clear it out completely. Now I'm just going to click anywhere else in the document. And now you'll see our selection info box is no longer red because we're no longer in that excerpt. So we can move on. And I'm going to create a couple more codes here that we can play around with. Let's go technology. Hit submit. So now we have two codes. So the second way to code is very similar to the first. Again, you would highlight the area that you're interested in. But instead of clicking the Create Excerpt icon, we're just going to double click the code or codes that we want to apply to the excerpt. So I'm going to double click Technology. And you'll see that Deduce created the excerpt for us. And it attached the technology code. So we got to skip a step. And you can attach as many codes as you need. Next, we're going to use the quick code widget. So this is the most efficient and I think fun way to code in Deduce. So again, we're going to highlight the area that we want to attach a code to. But this time, we're going to hit the space bar on our keyboard. And this brings up the quick code widget where we can quickly search for any codes. And you can just double click to apply them. And you can even create new codes from this area. So let's say I wanted to add the code conversations. I could just type in the word and then hit enter. And then you'll see deduce put that code in our code book and attached it to the excerpt. So this is a super quick and efficient way to code especially when your code book gets more lengthy and it may be harder to sit here and scroll, you can always use your quick code widget to quickly get to the code that you want to attach. One side note, if you're going to use the quick code widget to create new codes, you may have noticed that we were not able to attach a description right when we made the code. 
Whenever you create a new code from the quick code widget, be sure to go back to your code book, hover over that code, and click the edit gear icon, and that will pull up that pop-up window that allows us to add our description to the code. And then hit submit. If you want to get back into an excerpt you've already created, you'll see the bars to the left. If you hover over them, it will tell you who created that excerpt and then what codes are attached to that excerpt. If we want to edit it, we can click on that bar and then you'll notice we're back in our red selection info box. And this is where we could delete codes or delete the excerpt altogether.